LD, verify, go for launch. Go for launch. Stage 2, pressing for flight. T minus 30. T minus 20. Stage 1, pressing for flight. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. Lift off at the top Back in neutral has begun. And Falcon 9 is delivering the National Reconnaissance Office's satellite to orbit right now. We just transitioned through Max Q. And we've begun chilling in the MVAC engine on our second stage. Trajectory is looking good so far. Coming up in about 20 seconds, we'll have main engine cutoff, Miko 1. That's where all nine Merlin engines of that first stage will shut down and we'll see stage separation. Stage separation will be actuated by four pneumatic actuators on the first stage. We have Eco. And we have main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And stage separation has been confirmed. And you can see the first stage there flipping back. Use the nitrogen thrusters. And S1 boost back burn. And the boost back burn of that first stage. Boost back burn will last about another 15 seconds. We use this to reorient the stage back to Cape Canaveral and then fly it back from all the forward velocity it had over the Atlantic Ocean. And we also had a successful fairing separation of the second stage. As we mentioned previously, we will not be covering the remainder of the primary mission due to the nature of the classified payload on board, but we are covering our first stage as it's making a landing attempt back at landing zone one, and that's what you're seeing on your screen right now. On the right side is an onboard camera looking down from our interstage. Uh, that stage itself is uh, 12 feet in diameter and over 100 feet tall, so you're looking down the length of that stage and those grid fins also deployed, those grid fins guiding us back through Earth's atmosphere. On the left side of the screen, you're seeing our, our assets on ground tracking that rocket, the first stage as it's making its way back.
Now that boost back burn was a three engine burn. Coming up, we're gonna have our entry burn also a three engine burn. The entry burn will happen just after the seven minute mark. First stage has passed its apogee. It was over uh, 130 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. Those white puffs you're seeing are those uh, nitrogen thrusters on board, which we also use for controlling the vehicle and a guided descent back to landing zone one. Entry burn should be coming up in about a minute from now. You'll see three engines ignite at the base of the rocket. We use that to slow down all of the vertical velocity as the rocket is now falling back to the Earth's surface and accelerating. If you're just tuning in, we're watching the first stage as it's falling back to Earth uh, and a guided descent back to landing zone one. We have an entry burn coming up in about 15 seconds. Three engine entry burn. Stage one entry burn startup. And we've entered the entry burn startup. And we have ignition of the entry burn. This is a 25 second burn. Entry burn shut down. And we have shut down for the first stage. In about 45 seconds, we'll have our landing burn begin. That landing burn will last for about 30 seconds. And then we'll have touchdown of the vehicle. ATS has the that landing burn is going to take us from going about 1,000 kilometers an hour right down to zero on the surface of Earth. Landing legs will deploy about Stage 10 seconds before land landing. Stage one just passed through transonic regime. Landing burn startup. And landing burn has hit startup and we have ignition. Let's see the landing legs of play in a few seconds. First stage has landed back at landing zone one. It's another good day for us at SpaceX. It's a beautiful sight to see. That is the fourth land landing of a Falcon 9 at landing zone one.